Bakit negative? Kasi yung average velocity na yan or yung average walking velocity na yan is to the left. Kaya ang kinukonsider natin na positive direction is yung to the right. So, this is a negative average velocity. The next step in describing motion is to consider how rapidly an object moves. For example, um, gaano katagal travel ng isang sasakyan ang 10 meters sa distance or gaano kalayong maabot ng isang sasakyan sa pag-travel niya ng 1 hour or, or ng isang oras. So these are the examples of some of the most basic questions regarding sa motion. And in this lecture video, we will provide some answers to that. The simplest way to characterize the rate of motion is with the average speed. Average speed is defined as the total distance traveled along its path divided by the time it takes to travel this distance. Or sa formula natin, we have average speed is equal to distance over elapsed time. The dimensions of average speed are distance per time or in SI units, meters per second. So both distance and elapsed time are positive, thus average speed is always positive. Example number one, a dog runs back to a woman with an average speed of 1.32 meters per second from a distance of 3.5 meters. How much time does it take for the dog to reach the woman? So we have a figure here para mas may visualize natin yung problem. So the dog moves in a straight line through a distance of 3.5 meters. So from here, papunta dun sa woman. And ang na-travel niya is 3.5 meters. And ang average speed ng dog is 1.32 meters per second. Ito yung average speed niya. So using the simple equation natin kanina, yung average speed is equal to distance traveled over the elapsed time. Using this equation, we can solve for the elapsed time by rearranging this equation. I-rearrange lang natin itong equation na given na to. Ang hinahanap natin is yung time, the elapsed time. So, ito yan. We cross multiply. So, elapsed time now is equal to distance over average speed. And using the values given sa atin, ang average speed is equal to 1.32 meters per second. And ang distance traveled by the dog is 3.5 meters. So, yung time natin, elapsed time, is equal to, ang distance is 3.5 meters over 1.32 meters per second. So, as you can see, makakancel natin yung meters and ang matitira sa atin is second na lang. Elapsed time is equal to 3.5 divided by 1.32. We have 2.65 seconds. This is the elapsed time. Ganito katagal matatravel nung aso yung distance sa 3.5 meters gamit yung kanyang average speed na 1.32 meters per second. Meron tayong ginamit na equation, yun nga yung simple equation natin na average speed is equal to distance over elapsed time. This equation is not just a formula for calculating the average speed. Nakarelate dito yung speed, yung time, and yung distance. So, any one of these quantities ay pwede nating ma-determine or ma-calculate if the other two quantities are known. Another physical quantity that is often more useful than the average speed, yun yung tinatawag natin na average velocity. Average velocity is defined as a change in position over the time of travel. Or simply, it is defined as the displacement per time. We have this equation, average velocity is equal to displacement over elapsed time. Or, yung average velocity na yan, dinedenote din natin as yung V. Av, or yan nga yung average velocity, V sub average, and equals to delta x over delta t, yung delta x is the final position minus initial position over the final time minus the initial time. Ang unit na gagamitin natin dito is in S a unit, meter per second pa din, or m per s. Average velocity gives more information than average speed, hence, it is used more frequently in physics. Mas madalas sa ginagamit ang average velocity. Not only does the average velocity tells us on average kung gano'ng kabilis ang isang bagay na gumagalaw, inili-describe din ng average velocity yung direction. Kaya nga again, ang difference, na, ang difference ng average speed and average velocity 
yung average speed is a scalar quantity well yung average velocity naman is a vector quantity meron ulit direction yung average velocity for example kung ang isang object ay gumagalaw in the positive direction then yung final position is mas malaki sa initial position then yung average velocity is positive positive yung kanyang direction ibig sabihin yung average velocity natin ay mas malaki sa zero on the other hand naman kung yung object ay gumagalaw sa negative direction, then yung final position natin ay mas maliit sa initial position. Ibig sabihin, yung average velocity natin ay mas maliit sa zero or simply negative siya. As with the displacement, yung average velocity is a one-dimensional vector then and yung kanyang direction is given by sine. Example number two. A man sprints in a straight line for 50 meters in 8 seconds and then walks slowly back to the starting line in 40 seconds. If the sprint direction is taken to be positive, letter A, you ask, what is the average sprint velocity? Letter B, what is the average walking velocity? And lastly, for letter C, what is the average velocity for the complete round trip? So, para mas ma-visualize natin ng maayos yung problem, we have this figure here. The first figure, yun yung pag-sprint niya, and yung second figure naman, yung pabalik is yung walking na. So, ang total distance from here hanggang dito is 50 meters. And sa sprinting time niya, tinakbo niya yung 50 meters and in 8 seconds. And yung pabalik naman, 50 meters pa rin, eto pa din siya. Nilakad naman niya in 40 seconds. For letter A, pinag-uusapan natin is yung sa sprinting muna. Again, ang sprint direction natin is taken to be positive. Yung papunta dito ang positive. And kapag sa walking na, sa letter B mama yung pabalik na yun is negative. Na kasi again, nagmamatter na yung direction sa average velocity. Para sa letter A, apply natin yung equation na V average or average velocity is equal to delta x over delta t. Ito yung ating coordinate system. From x is equal to 0 hanggang sa x is equal to 50 meters. So, ang initial position niya, syempre, itong starting natin, this is the initial position and this is the final position. So, this is x sub f minus x sub i over delta t or final time minus initial time. Ang x sub f natin or ang final position natin is after 50 meters from the origin. Ito yan. Dito siya nag-stop. So, this is 50 meters minus ang initial position natin is 0 over ang final time natin or ang natapos na yung 50 meters na yan after 8 seconds. Minus, nag-start siya from 0 lang din of course, 0 seconds. And solving for the average velocity, average sprinting velocity, 50 minus 0 is 50 and 8 minus 0 is 8. 50 divided by 8 is equal to 6.25 and this is meters per second. So this is the average sprint velocity. For letter B naman, pabalik na, sulat ulit natin yung equation, delta x over delta t. Pareho lang sila ng distance. So, dito naman is walking na. Ang sinosolve na natin for letter B is yung average walking velocity. Nag-start naman siya dito. Nag-start siya sa 50 meters point from the origin. So, ito ang initial natin. This is 50 meters. And, ito yung ating final. This is 0 from nasa origin siya. Ang x sub f natin is 0 minus ang initial position natin is yung 50 meters na point from the origin over, we have 40 seconds here. So, ang initial time na naglakad siya from this point, 50 meters from the origin is, kakumpisa pa lang niya maglakad. So, zero yung initial time niya dito. And, papunta dun sa final position niya, umabot siya ng 40 seconds dahil naglakad nga lang siya. This is V average, walking average velocity na to. We have negative 50 meters divided by 40 seconds. And ang average walking velocity natin is equal to negative 1.25 meters per second. Again, bakit negative? Kasi yung average velocity na yan or yung average walking velocity na yan is to the left 
Kaya ang kinoconsider natin na positive direction is yung to the right. So, this is a negative average velocity, walking velocity. Lastly, for letter C, what is the average velocity for the complete round trip? Same equation ang gagamitin natin, average velocity. For the complete round trip, nag-start siya dito sa origin, itong point na to. Nag-start siya, tumakbo siya dito hanggang sa 0.50 meters from the origin and then lumakad siya hanggang dito. So, ang initial position natin is itong point na to. Kaya lang, ang pinag-uusapan natin this time is yung complete round trip. So, from the initial position, tumakbo siya and then naglakad siya hanggang dito din. So, ito rin yung ating final position. Ibig sabihin, equal yung final position sa initial position. X sub F minus X sub I over T sub F minus T sub I. Parehong 0 ang value. So, this is 0 minus 0 over... Ang total ng time natin is 48 seconds. Tumakbo siya ng 8 seconds, 50 meters, and naglakad siya ng 40 seconds, 50 meters din. So, this is 48 seconds. Kaya lang, 0 over 48 is equal to 0. So, ang average velocity for the complete round trip is 0 meters per second. The sign of the velocities in parts A and B indicates that yung direction of motion is Positive for motion to the right and negative naman for motion to the left. And in addition, mapapansin natin that the average speed for the entire 100 meters round trip is say 100 meters divided by 48 seconds. Average speed ang pinag-usapan natin dito. This is equal to 2.08 meters per second speed to average speed niya. And this is non-zero even though yung average velocity natin ay mawawala na. Dahil sa average velocity, again, ang pinag-uusapan natin is yung relation ng displacement at saka ng elapsed time. So, this is example number 2.